So I've never done such vlogs before where I'm unboxing something and installing something. Uh, and I got myself uh, the Cardo Special Edition Pack Top Black just today. Uh, and I thought this product would be a good way to start making such vlogs. If you've already clicked on this video, you know what it is. But just in case you don't, it is a communication device that goes in your helmet using which you can answer calls, make calls, listen to music and all of that good stuff. If I'm able to fix all of this tonight on my helmet or install it, set the app up, I might be able to go tomorrow morning for a ride. So I think without wasting any more time, I'll just head straight to it and start with the installation process. Alright, let's see what comes in this box. I've actually seen a lot of these unboxing videos for this specific device. Uh, and I exactly know what comes in. But, yeah, there you go. That is, I think, the actual device. Uh, and the rest of the box should probably have the mic and the speakers and the Velcros. Uh, I think that's the sticker that comes along with it. This is probably the manual in English and I think other languages. I don't know why they sent so much paper. They could have probably saved all of this. This is the warranty. This is also an installation guide. Let's see. Right, for now, let's keep all of this aside. I'm just gonna set that aside and see what all comes in this. So Alright, I think these are the 45mm JPL speakers. I don't think Senna gets this. Uh, Senna is another, like another brand that makes something similar. Uh, their sound system apparently isn't that great. Uh, whereas Cardo partnered with JBL, which is why you get these fancy speakers. And apparently they're probably one of the best that you could get. Uh, this black edition, the only difference between this one and this another version, uh, this is the special edition that I got, but there's another version, I think it's called the Bold, and that one comes with the 40mm speakers, whereas this comes with the 45mm speakers. I don't know how much of a big deal that is, uh, but just these speakers cost you 80 bucks, whereas the difference between the Bold and this one isn't too much. So if you're making a decision about which one to get, consider this. Uh, apart from that, everything else is the same. Also, one more thing that is, I think on the Pack Talk Bold, you get a two-year warranty, whereas here you get a three-year warranty. All right, so this is a normal USB cable that I get with it. These are the speakers. This is the other mic that I get with it. There ideally should be two mics. Uh, one is this, and the other one, uh, let's see where that one is. I think all of this is, this is the, the, the sticky thing that goes on the helmet uh, and there should be another thing or uh, this I think it has a clip-on sort of a thing that goes inside the helmet so if you don't want to stick this on you can use this uh, these are the alcohol pads that you get uh, so you can just to clean the helmet before you install any of these on it so this is all that you get and I think this is the other mic if I am not wrong yep that is the other mic that would go inside the helmet as well I think this is also the same thing these are also some more velcro that you get this is I think the speaker I mean I'm pretty sure it's a speaker and I think it also comes with a velcro on it yes it does I think I'll set all of this aside and start uh, ripping my helmet apart to start putting all of this on that. So this is the helmet I have. Uh, I have a Scorpion XOR 710 helmet, uh, which already has a GoPro mount on it. I'll probably be seeing if I can put that device. It should eventually go somewhere around here. I'll probably just start ripping off the helmet. Uh, all the cushioning from inside should be easier for me to start working on this. So this is the helmet that I'm going to install everything on. Uh, this is uh, a Scorpion XO R710 helmet. Uh, it already has uh, uh, a GoPro mount on it that I installed when I got it. Uh, 
and this is the side on which I probably I'm going to mount uh, my part top black. Uh, so just in case you have a Scorpion R710, this is what you'll probably have to do. I think these emergency things are pretty easy to get out. I have taken those out before. Uh, they just come off. There should be two pins inside. You can just pull them off and they come out pretty easily. I think it should be the same thing that you would potentially have to do on this side as well. Alright, there you go. Uh, so these two are out. So if you see, I don't know how much is visible, but let me actually get my phone to see to rather show that there is a slot in here so this actually comes with a slot uh, on the side which is here uh, so on both sides there is a circular sort of a space where you could put one of these velcros which are for the speakers so once I get these off, they would perfectly fit in here. And I don't think, apart from this, I would need to take out too many other things. Just this, like taking out these two cushions, should be enough. So just in case you don't want to watch any YouTube video and install all of, uh, all of this, uh, there are two things if you want to go just by the manual. There is this document, which is basically uh, how you use the actual device. And this is the other one is the installation part. So for now, I'm going to put all of this aside and just follow this. Uh, I'm probably not going to stick on anything on my helmet because that is not something I really want to do. Uh, the clip on thing that I have here is like actually much nicer. And as far as whatever reviews I've seen so far, it fits in pretty nicely. So there's no way this is going to come out too. Uh, also, as far as the mic goes, there are two mics, like I said before. But I'm probably going to go with the one that uh, uh, is a little less intrusive. Uh, this one is probably going to come in front of my mouth and I don't want that because I don't want to breathe inside the mic and all of that uh, sound to be recorded or even when I'm on a call. So I think I'll go with the other mic, uh, which is this one. It's a pretty small, decent mic, uh, but the wires are pretty thin. So be sh like very careful when you're installing all of this. And so based on this document, it asks me to put this on the helmet first, which is the, the clip-on thing that I have. See, I don't think this should be very difficult, uh, but this is what the first step is, is to put this on the helmet. So I'm probably going to go ahead and do that first without damaging this. These things are pretty delicate. I think once they're on, they feel pretty rugged, but these wires are pretty thin. In a way, it's good because these wires are thin, so they, they're less intrusive, they, they're not really visible as such. But be careful. Uh, I got the, the best cardo that you could get. Uh, so I'm going to be very careful when I put all of this on my helmet. Putting this on should be pretty easy. You're supposed to put it between the, the shell and the inner padding, which is going to be here. So I think just pushing this in should be good. So I think without damaging the helmet too much, that should slide off pretty easily. Alright, so that is in. I think that is pretty firm. Uh, I don't think that's going anywhere now. Uh, and I think that would be a good place. Just in case I plan to change my mind and put it on the other side, I still can because I'm not sticking that on and I'm going with this clip on thing. Alright, so I think uh, I'm going to change my plans, though I think it's safer to install this on the right side. Uh, even the manual says that I probably should be putting it on the left side. I'm not sure how much is visible, but that's what it says out here that you probably should be putting this on the left side. Also, not just because the manual says that, uh, it looks a little odd on this side. Uh, like everything is going down, but it's coming up. So I'll probably see if I can put that on the other side. Getting this off is also as easy as it was to put it in. All you do is slide in the inside first, you can just push it up, and that way it should be nice and snug in there. Alright, so that's gone. So that's 
So not going based off any tutorial, but uh, based off the manual, it looks like the next thing that I would have to put in is one of these Velcros. The circular things that come have this kind of a surface to it. I don't know how much is visible and the rough side to it. So there's a soft side and this rough side. So you can't really go and stick it directly on your helmet because the this portion that I showed before uh, out here is plastic. So I'm going to have to have something to stick onto it where I think these square ones go. I don't know when this is circular, why they give this one as a square, but irrespective, uh, I think you could go with those or with this. I don't think I'm going to go with this because as far as the manual goes, they've asked me to put in the square ones in. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, remove this and stick the square on there. So this is on there. Now it's going to be pretty simple to put these on. Ouch. I just hope it's fine. But yep, they go right on there. So I could potentially see. I think this is an additional pad. Uh, I could directly uh, put these speakers on there as well. Uh, if you see, this has sort of a rough surface to it. And if I put these on directly, I think that should be fine too. And they stick on pretty well. Uh, now my only problem is I just, the helmet is already a little tight for me. I just hope adding this would not make it a little too tight. Uh, the other thing is uh, these uh, speakers I thought would directly fit in properly in those circular uh, slots but it doesn't really look at, uh, like it now. Uh, after I put the, these on they are not really going to go in snug there. Uh, they are going to protrude a little bit. So uh, but anyway I'm probably going to go ahead with this for now and uh, see what it looks like later I think this is the left side and this is the right side in any case let me just go ahead and put this velcro on this side as well not sure of how much is visible but let me go and just stick this on I think this one stuck a little better than the previous one so it's pretty simple. You just put the, the speakers on and the next step as I've already read is you have to put in uh, the mic and that's that's about it. So once I connect this, that should be it. So this is what it looks like once you install that as well. Uh, I might probably have to because I think the surface is not that correct. I think I'm going to go ahead with these pads and have those on there. So, all right. So I have those pads there. After I put the pads, I think it levels it off properly. And now it's going to be much easier. But I still think my speakers are going to protrude. So if you see, now how much is visible, but. Like I can take these off, but also nicely put it in there in that circular thing. Uh, it's not really visible now that there was a square Velcro behind it uh, as it fits in nicely. Not really nicely, it does protrude a little bit, uh, but I think the speakers will fit properly on it now. But the other one, yeah, the other one goes on this side. Gonna try and put it as nicely as possible because these are not going to come out now. Once I put these on, I don't think I'm ever going to get it out. All right, so there is where the speakers go. It looks a little untidy right now with a lot of cables, but. Uh, I think I can tuck all of this in once I completed the entire installation process. 
just to make this a little tidier uh, I'm going to start connecting these wires uh, this is a 3.5 mm jack that you get which goes in here and I could probably tuck this in somewhere but I'm just going to put this aside and put in the mic next so as far as installing the mic goes I wouldn't want to put it exactly in the center because if my air vents are open it's going to blow in the mic so I'll probably put it a little off center out here right, so I got the mic in as well and this is what it looks like I put the mic a little off center uh, all I have to do now is connect this cable out here which comes out from this side and I don't think you can go wrong here it's pretty simple and straightforward you just put in there there's no sort of a like a clip you can always remove this again uh, there you go I was scared for a second I thought I wouldn't be able to remove it uh, but yeah you can and all I'm gonna do is I think the installation process is now done uh, I can just clip this guy on and I think I should be good all right so there's sort of a thing like a like a thing in front out here uh, and there's a hole out here or like a slot out here all you'd have to pour, probably do is just push that in and there you go that is in place there'll be sort of a clip out here or uh, that'll make a clicking sound once you it, it's nicely in there and now I don't think that is going anywhere that completes the installation process I think we are good uh, this is how you would basically install all of this on your helmet and once you do that this is how it's going to look uh, let me just tidy it up a little bit tuck in the wires uh, the cables in there uh, put those paddings back on the helmet and show you what it looks like eventually okay. this is how it looks once you're done installing everything uh, the wires pretty much go in uh, but there's one thing that I noticed actually I've been struggling for almost half an hour to 45 minutes uh, adjusting the speakers inside uh, my helmet was a little tight for me already and I didn't uh, see this being mentioned by anybody else in other reviews that I've seen that people are installing and doing the same thing that uh, you will probably going to have to spend a lot more time adjusting the speaker so that they match with where your ears are or else if your helmet is pretty tight already uh, they do take up a lot of space inside the helmet and so your ears are going to feel a little tighter you could be okay with that for a couple of minutes but if you're going to go for longer rides for a couple of hours that is going to start hurting your ears uh, only if your helmet is new which mine is and I haven't really used it for longer periods of time so what I did is I did remove these two paddings in these look pretty thin but they do take up uh, quite a lot of space inside the helmet with these in I just my head just would not go in uh, I haven't really started using uh, the device as such uh, but just I just wanted to make sure I was comfortable my head was comfortable uh, the, the speakers in my ears aligned even now they really don't I'm still struggling with trying to see how I can make myself uh, comfortable inside the helmet I'm probably gonna have to spend a little more time doing that but for now I think uh, as far as the installation process goes this is it it's already 2 a.m. right now and I've been doing this for almost about an hour and a half I don't think I'll be spending any more time uh, adjusting this but I'll probably see how I can set this up and see and I, uh, I'll see how I can and I'll see how I can set the app up with this and get this started at least as far as the installation process goes the most difficult part is to get this adjusted to your own head size and your helmet size uh, otherwise it's just a simple two-step process you put in the speakers first and then you put in the mic uh, but keep adjusting those speakers uh, until you get it right I hope at least some of the parts of this video were helpful and I tried to cover as much as possible as far as the installation goes uh, hope you guys liked it and uh, ride safe I did install the system last night. Uh, I know it was late about at three o'clock or so, 
but I did go out uh, with that thing installed on uh, in my helmet. It's a little uncomfortable at first. It makes the helmet a little tighter than uh, what it usually is. Uh, but once you're used to that, nothing like it. You can listen to music, take calls. Uh, uh, one feature I haven't used yet is the intercom, uh, using which it uses mesh technology. And using that, you can talk to somebody else who has a similar system, which the guy who I met today has. Uh, his name is Jose. So looking forward to going with her for a ride with him tomorrow morning and using that system. Really looking forward to it tomorrow. I know what it is. What it is? It, what is, is, that, it? it is that, uh, that thing, that 130. No! You check. It might break. Made of glass. Oh, I'm giving you a hint. Be careful. Oh my god, don't tear it like that. Open it like a civilized person. I'm so curious to see what you got. It's made of glass, I'm telling you. Give you a hint. Now you guess. I think there is made of glass that I like. Hey, you want to open it today or should I go and have. I told you! Aire, thank you. Aire, so now you can come on bike rides. Thank you. Tomorrow. Tomorrow I won't go with that guy. No, no, no. Go with him. You, I can always come with you. You can't always go with him. So. No, no, no. Uh, rather we can go, right? When did you order this? Yesterday. It's come today. Oh, like I need. Damn, cool man. Now what to do? There's antenna, no? I, I don't think this should have an antenna. Oh. Because uh, this is for you to just talk to me. My oh. dear, riding. 